school, it's 10 schools. In my final decision, it was Earlham, Ohio Northern, and Bellarmine University. I was looking at Kenyon, Oberlin, Denison, Worcester, mostly Boston College, Colorado College, University of Colorado, the College of Worcester, and Ohio Wesleyan. My other choices were Worcester and Junior Honor College. I was looking at the University of Texas in Austin. So the moment I stepped onto campus, I absolutely loved my first two visits. Well, I visited Rome on Admitted Students Day. I came here, I remember immediately feeling welcomed by the campus. I liked the atmosphere here. I was really comfortable with everyone that was on campus. It was a very unique campus and it gave me an opportunity to meet people that I otherwise would never have had the opportunity to meet. Every other college I visited, I just compared it to Earlham. Nothing could top it. I wanted to play soccer. Deciding to play soccer when I came to Earlham was one of the best decisions. Soccer has been like a really important part of my experience. The team that I was welcomed into was just a very warm and understanding, eager to help group. And I remember feeling immediate connection to the school, which is why I came back two times. <laughs> and I just really love the team. It's just like having another family. There's a great sense of pride at Earlham. Our team enjoys playing here because they get the true academic experience as well as the athletic experience. Um, it's a good balance between school and soccer. Distinguish yourself as someone who not only is passionate about the sport that they're competing in, but passionate about academics as well. You kind of get the best of both worlds. I can be challenged in the classroom and on the field. Learning to balance soccer with academics has been really valuable. And it is very competitive, so we take both aspects very seriously. The whole liberal arts aspect is great. Is, is great for making a person well-rounded. I mean, that's the reason I came to this school. It's difficult at times. The classes are challenging. Classes, they're great. Classes are wonderful. They're really tough. They're challenging. I do have a lot of smaller classes. All the teachers are there to help, and professors are great. I love my professors. Professors are really helpful and friendly and welcoming. Everyone gets to have an opinion, but they, the teachers don't put you on the spot. The amount of knowledge you gain after each class, really informative. The most rewarding things I've done. Usually I end up calling my mom right after class and sharing them with her because I feel like she kind of missed out on that. Me a whole new way to look at the world, and I love it. One, two, three. Easy Pride! Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Oh. Hey, I'm trying to get calm. C R U E. We drop in everything you pop in From the end, ain't to the key To make your adrenaline Pop right on through your skin And make that crop again They were playing a bean Before we came on back Coming in the wind We jumped out like a jack in the box And like I had it with a bad dude Sack in my sock Tell them how we gonna go Tell them why they don't Coaching in Erlon because you're with a, a really special group of young women. We couldn't, you couldn't ask for a coach with um, who cared more about a team. She really cares about you as a person and as a soccer player. She's like one of the best coaches I've ever had. The most influential coach that I've had. My perception of the player-coach relationship and my goal and what I strive to build here is um, is a level of respect, a level of friendship. Um, but also, my goal is to mentor these young women. Jocelyn really pushes you to be the best player you possibly can. She works you hard and she expects great things from you. Regardless of if they're a starting player or if they're a supporting voice from the bench, Jocelyn pushes everyone um, individually. She recognizes each of our talents individually and um, our team talent. Jocelyn's very honest. Relate to us as women and also the fact that she's like young 
and a really good soccer player. I have never had a female coach that I truly respected and wanted to work hard for, and coming here and playing for Jocelyn's been wonderful. My favorite part about coaching is watching um, the development of a player, whether it's during a season, over the course of two years, um, and just their enjoyment and passion for the game. Um, the coach has been like a great influence in my life. The competition and during preseason, it's pretty tough. Jocelyn makes a hard schedule. We don't try to play lax teams. Um, we try to play teams that are going to make us better and improve ourselves both individually and as a team. It's very competitive. It's really intense. Competition is tough. We're out here training, um, you know, five or six days a week, just like everybody else is. Playing two or three games a week. We take soccer really seriously. Um, you know, if you're a part of this team, you're you're into it. We really all care enough about each other to want to do the best, not just for us, but for the whole team. It's really competitive. Within the team is really good too. They push each other in practice every day. We have heart, we have dedication, we have pride, and we all love working hard and seeing the results that we've been getting. So. You couldn't ask for a more energetic crowd. The fans are great. The fans are great. They're at every game. The fans are intense. They love women's soccer. They love our team. Oh man, the fans are great. Honestly, you're not going to come to a school that has better fans. The fans are awesome. The fans are amazing. Our fans are fantastic. Um, we call them the Quaker Army. The fans are awesome. They're, we have the Quaker Army. They're really supportive. I'd say that's another reason why I play soccer. Here at every game, cheering us on, giving us energy, giving us love and support. They come to every game and really pump us up for every game. The whole college came out in support of us. Our, our president pseudo canceled school, called it a snow day, even though it was like 60 degrees outside. We have the most fun when we're working together as a team. We know how to have fun. We all just love having fun, goofy, and being able to lighten the mood if need be. Because this is Africa. for Africa for Africa.